What a cracking game of football this turned out to be. It wasn't looking good for the home side early on though, especially when Stephen Milne's skills proved too much for Michael Hart. Plenty of protesting from his teammates, but none from the offender himself. That's because Hart knew he had handled. And Steve Lovell did the business from the spot to put Dundee ahead. Keen to make up for giving away the penalty, Michael Hart then delivered a nice ball in for Derek Young, who couldn't have come closer to scoring. Terrific header this, and Spironi's grateful to his right-hand post. If that was unlucky, worse was to follow for the Dons as Dundee set about doubling their lead. Steve Lovell setting up Fabian Caballero. It's a sea of red inside the Aberdeen area, but they still can't keep out Caballero. Two very nearly became three when Aberdeen failed to deal with a long ball from the back. Stephen Milne's pace took him clear, and only the woodwork kept the Dons in the game. 2-0 down at half-time, Aberdeen set about a rescue mission with relish, and when a long punt from Jimmy McAllister caused some problems for the Dundee defence, Paul Sheeran was on hand to get the home side right back in the match. Derek Young with the chest down, and that's a great finish. Aberdeen really fancied it now, and after some clever play from Chris Clark, Paul Sheeran whacked in an equaliser. The former Inverness man's really enjoying his time in the North East. That's five goals now from only seven games in the league. So, all square at 2-all, it was anyone's game in the last ten minutes, and Aberdeen's perfect comeback was complete when Philip Maguire nodded past the under-pressure Spironi. Complete joy for the home fans, but it looks to me like the keeper took a bit of a bashing from Leon Mike, but the goal stood. After all that hard work battling back from two down, Aberdeen's lead lasted a matter of seconds. Defender Lee Wilkie doing a great impersonation of a penalty box poacher from Nacho Noble's cross. A terrific end to a great game, though both managers were left frustrated. I'm sure Jim's uh, quite disappointed they were 2-0 and they've, they've, uh, they've sort of chucked it away. So uh, I think if you look on the on the, the end of the game, I think a uh, point was probably a fair result for both teams. I must admit, I wasn't very pleased at uh, the end of the match there. Um, we did show a little bit of resolve because we got ourselves back in again, but uh, you know we, we can't throw away those kind of leads if we want to finish the top six.